Let's suppose you've created a submission library in JTLearn, but you forgot to add that assignment column. Here's a quick tutorial on how to put that in. So navigate to a submission library where you forgot to place the assignment column. Notice I have a period column and a last name column. Within that submission library, click the List tab and go to List Settings. Scroll down a bit and notice in the column section there is no assignment column. So we can go to right beneath that there's a link that says create column and this brings up a form. In here we can type the new column name assignment and we can actually create a choice just like we would uh, for creating an actual assignment. We can leave the description column blank and we can force students to use this and requiring this column uh, have information so we can click yes there and we can create any assignment names that we'd like to place here. Let's leave it as a drop down menu. We will not allow fill in choices. We can have a default value as the first one but the students can still use the drop down menu and we're going to leave this add to the default view so it's placed into the columns. Um, leave that checked and then click OK. When we navigate, navigate back to our submission library, notice we now have an assignment column and we would be able to sort by different assignments that we place into that. If students have already uploaded an assignment, whether it's a document or a link, their assignments will still show, but this column will be blank because they would not have been forced to make a selection in the assignment portion. Once you have this assignment column, then you can go to the tutorial on creating an assignment in JT Learn to create an assignment within that submission library. Thanks for watching.